So yeah, we're here at the uh, 24 Champions Tour Championship. We're at Lake Minnewaska. 10 years ago, I got into the tournament scene and this lake was a lot different. It was much more crisp. It was very clean edged and now the weed lines have changed. Very grass driven. It's got beautiful coontail everywhere. But in the same token, I caught bass this week from one foot to 16 feet. It has a lot of grass, it has rock, it has sand, it's got docks. So it's your, you know, prime time Minnesota fishery. It's got everything you could ever dream of for a bass fisherman in it. And I think a lot of us are thinking the same thing. I think we're fishing deep to shallow and a lot of mid range. There's, there's fish everywhere. Like, kind of like we were talking about, there's fish on flats in two to four feet of water chasing around bait. And then there's fish in 14 feet of water in that beautiful coontail. I think that I'm on kind of that tweener, uh, close to deep water, but also close to the highest part of the flat. I can move up top and burn some moving baits in the shallow water and play that power fishing game. I can also hit the mid range and then I can get out deep and really finesse some of those deeper isolated clumps and edges. You know, the cool thing about tomorrow is I think you're gonna be able to catch fish any way that you want to. I think that's gonna be the real, you know, prize about this tournament is guys are gonna catch them from zero to 25 feet and it's gonna be a really fun tournament to spectate. You can fish your style out here right now, which is kind of goofy. You could be up underneath docks and really getting into that slot or you can get out onto that deeper isolated stuff and fish that drop shot. If you got a freestyle, you got a freestyle. Cause I'm not trying to do okay or good. You know, it's, it's win or go home. You know what I mean? So it's, I feel like to get to this point, you always want to be like doing what you can to stay consistent. But here it's like, boom, we're just swinging. And the Champions Tour is the only place in the Midwest that I even know of that gives away a boat, let alone a nice boat, for first place in a no entry fee tournament. It's very rare anywhere in the Midwest you can compete for a brand new, fully rigged, frickin' Skeeter bass boat. This is the place you can do it. What the Bonhams have done for the Champions Tour and qualifying for the championship to win a boat is, is what the best thing you can do here in the Midwest, so it's great. We're able to fish all year for great payouts and then at the end of the year we fish this championship for a brand new Skeeter boat. It's a one day shootout. It's a catch way release format with the real live well app and we have marshals that are going to weigh them all and it is, I mean, it, there's going to be a pile of bass caught tomorrow. It's going to be, it's going to be a slugfest. Angler of the Year has been something that's kind of got me. I mean, I'll be honest with you, you know, I've the first two years we were leading it going into the championship tournament and then just had a really tough championship two years in a row. So I'm not thinking about AOI. I'm not thinking about it. People keep talking to me about, hey man, points. You got a little bit of a pad there. You nine point pad. So if finished top 10, you're pretty much locked up. You know, this angler of the year thing has eluded me. And here we are on familiar turf sitting in second place. I don't know how it's going to go. These championships haven't treated me very well and I'm looking to right that ship tomorrow so hopefully we can we can get in the right direction. At the end of the day, we're here to fish for the grand prize. That's why we're here. Lake split. There is going to be a lake split tomorrow. There's going to be a north half and a south half. I split the lake right down the middle of the lake. Glenn Walker, as usual, is texting you the pictures. The line on this side of the lakes right here at the beach. I actually drew the line perfectly. I think it's called Airport Road right here. It's literally a road and there's a telephone pole on the beach. So if you're on the water, it's pretty obvious. It goes right down the middle of the lake. I tried to follow the deepest water down the middle. When you get to the east end, it curves to the northeast and there's a public boat ramp on the north side of Glenwood. And there's a little riprap bank with a little point. I tried to pick the most obvious little point. Before you leave, you will come to Jack Gavin and you will tell him whether you're starting north or south. Other than that, that's all I got. I know we got a few more things to do here, so I'm gonna get it back to Scott. Morning. This is Lake Minnewashta, site of the Champions Tour Championship Lake. This is an incredible fishery, loaded with largemouth, loaded with smallmouth. There are going to be a lot of fish catches today. It's going to be a true shootout for a championship. One of the first times we've really had it where the guys are going to need to catch fish to stay pace all day long. A lot on the line. We are giving away a fully rigged Skeeter, 
ZX200 with a Yamaha 200 show on it. Minn Kota Hummingbird products as well on that rig. An incredible product, $60,000 value. Lots of cash and prizes to the guys for a no entry fee event. They've earned this opportunity. The top 32 anglers from the entire season have qualified to be here today. Lots gonna happen. In addition to that, we're gonna cram the Champions Tour Angler of the Year today. That's the angler that through the entire season has shown that he is at the top points level for the entire year. Leading that race right now, Mr. Dane Veselka. He's gonna have to catch him today. There's three or four other guys, Kyle Shuda, Tommy Parker on his heels. And that winner, in addition, is gonna receive from Hummingbird a one bolt network package with the Apex, Mega 360, Mega Live, Lake Master Chips, etc. A lot happening. Lake Minnewasha is gonna show out today. We've had a storm front come through last night, but it's gonna to show today. Follow along, real live will app throughout the entire season. Watch Champions Tour, follow us on YouTube as well. Appreciate the entire support. Looking forward to crowning a champion today. isn't how you start. I don't know what is. We were just talking about that, Logan. Choked it right away. 112. 112. <clears throat> All right, boys. Get the first cast drinks out of the way. We go. First fish of the day. Champs Tour Championship, baby. Mini Waska. One. I don't, brother. Okay. 112. 112. 112. I like it. Got it. You got a picture? Yep. What should we get there? 112. First fish of the day. Couple million more to go. Got him. <sighs> one, one. One, one. You got a picture? Yep. And I really want that wind to keep blowing. Pounder. God, they weren't this small before. They're at least a pound. One three. One three. You got a picture? They shouldn't all be this small. I was catching two, three pounders before, so I just hope that the size builds a little bit. Almost got a violation. <laughs> One eleven. There we go. 111. Little. Ooh, we might go pound. I don't know. One pound even, huh? Yeah. One one. One twelve. Like Got it. Picture. Yeah, we're good there. One twelve. Consistent. <laughs> no kidding. They're all like that. Not be surprised on that. Oh, there's. <laughs> oh boy. Don't come off. <laughs> it was almost a penalty. Got it. 110, baby. My picture should be good. Yep. Sweet. Dude, there was like five of them down there. I was like, why are they not biting? <laughs> so yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't hardly sleep last night knowing that 
going on boat 22 was uh, the odds of me getting a spot were slim. So on our way over here this morning, there wasn't a boat headed even in this direction. And I breathed a huge sigh of relief. And uh, we got here and started cracking on them. I caught one, what, first cast, right? First cast and a bunch of them after that. It's uh, 7.43 now and we've got how many fish? 12 fish. So we busted them up pretty good here already. We're gonna sit here for a little bit yet and then run to another spot. There's one other spot that I would have much rather started on than this that I'm sure someone is smashing them on right now. But uh, that one I knew was too obvious and I wouldn't get so. We opted for this one and so far it's worked pretty good. <laughs> I'm all about it. Sweet, had a little pack of them. Sorry. Sweet, 110 anyway. Oh, 118. One eight. What the heck? I'm going backwards. Getting a little smaller. There was some nice fish in here this morning, right away, and uh, starting to get a little smaller, but we've been beating on them, so I guess that's to be expected. One five. One five. There we go, one five. And Wes, my young marshal here, is a stud. He's on top of it the whole day. One eight at a time. <laughs> this one might be a one six. He's he's a little runty. <laughs> one six. Yeah, one two. I know he's a one six. Mm -hmm. Take that round mare. If anybody knows Ron Mary, he's like the nicest guy on the planet. One, three. I'll take that. One, three. I think they're just getting smaller and smaller. That's why I was missing a couple of them on the T rig. All right. Hope that's a pound. Oh yeah. One two. One two. One, two. Yeah, you got it plenty good. A little scary. Mm-hmm. One eight, got her. Changing it up. That one didn't miss. <laughs> yeah, let's just hook them a 400 feet of line out. Got him. <laughs> Welcome to the show. All right. We're out of practice. Haven't missed one all morning. Camera guy gets in the boat. Missed like four in a row. All right, what do we got? 110. Go right to me. Of an ugly one, but he weighs. All right, we're back. There's one. Ooh, that one's dogging me. Why is he fighting so hard? Is it a brown one? No, just a nice one. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Barely hooked. <laughs> yep, I agree. She's a beaut going back. <laughs> I figured it was the tournament guys calling you. I think so. We'll be right around that one pound mark, I think. Yep. Yeah, one, two. One, three. Sweet.
Half the size of Chad Smith right now, but we're doing what we can. 110. Yep. I'm all about them 110s. I had this area and I found a little clump that had a bunch of fish on it. And um, it's not so much just this one clump as much as this whole area. I was scanning, found some bluegill beds, some old ones kind of hanging around and just fished around and got a couple bites out this one clump and figured I'd start here because I saw a bunch come up on live after, after that. And, the quality is much better than I expected, so I didn't, I'm, I'm shaking, honestly. It's been a crazy morning, but this can happen to any one of these guys. I'm really trying to keep the foot on the gas. One six. One eight. eight, I'm way off. Oh, that one stopped. Oh, geez. Oh, good thing he's out there a mile and a half. Let's just ski him in. There we go. <laughs> a little better largey there. Oh, geez. All right. Look at that thing just ate it, too. Good one. There's one. Way out there. Oh God. <laughs> Scary with a trailer hook hanging off that thing flasher. <laughs> Just trying to hook one it. Yep, looks great to me. All right. When they oh first cast. Oh, got him. Change out the color. A little bit heavier. Just bumped that spinner right the first cast. And then he just gobbles the old black and blue. Ooh, little guy. <laughs> yeah, he'll go with pound. <laughs> One, two. Yeah. Cool. Gotta say a Y, so that was cool. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Who cares about that? We got a derb to win today. <laughs> Uh, I like catching them on heavy sticks. Yep. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, oh. No penalty! <laughs> that thing was fired up. Guess I should have played him out a little more. Got a little icebreaker there. I was getting quiet and nervous. Stop. Every fish counts. One at a time. One at a time. For a one pound. <laughs> Uh, funny. Oh, gosh, dang it. <laughs> All right. One, three. One, what? One, three. So, <laughs> little guy, but got a penalty there. 
the boat or the fish is not allowed to hit the boat. Um, so that one was a smaller one. I went to flip them in. Uh, I've been landing most of them that are a little bigger on the side of the boat just to kind of avoid that. But that one was just hooked in the lip, flopped right when I went to grab it and hit the boat. So I got to sit down and do nothing for two minutes. It's, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of like fish care stuff. So it's, um, it's trying to, you know, be conservative with these bass and take care of them because they take care of us and we just, you know, want to keep everyone healthy in that regard. Um, but man, that's hard to sit down here and do nothing for a couple of minutes, <laughs> especially when they're biting. It's all right. You got to take it for what it is and uh, just keep your head in the game because these things are mental. It's crazy. Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Lake Miniwaska. Your morning update here. It's just uh, 20 after 8. So here is your morning update. It's uh, first place right now with 33 fish and 47 pounds, 5 ounces, Kyle Shuda. In second, with 26 fish, 42 pounds, 8 ounces, Terry Vang. In third, 23 fish, 37 pounds, 15 ounces for Matt Holwig. In fourth, with 16 fish and 37 pounds, 15 ounces, Chad Smith. In fifth, 18 fish, 31 pounds, 2 ounces, Evan Blakely. In sixth, 16 fish, 29 pounds, 12 ounces, Hunter Went. In seventh, 17 fish, 27 pounds, 13 ounces, Ryan Kiki. In eighth, 18 fish, 25 pounds, 10 ounces, James Chapman. In ninth, 15 fish, 25 pounds, 9 ounces, Ron Mayer. And in tenth, 16 fish, 24 pounds, 7 ounces, Walker Krampitz. Now they're guaranteed to shut off. Maybe not. Yep, one four. One four. Little guy, they'll count though. I knew there was a school here. I just didn't know how big it was and uh, pulled up and it took us like a half hour to find him. Um, and then it's just been, I, have, I haven't taken the tro trolling motor off spot lock for about an hour, so it's been good. It's hard to keep them fired up though. And there's nothing special about this spot. It's just, this is where they wanted to be. Not, nothing you could graph or, or see that's different. It's just, it's where they wanted to be. But that seems to be the, common thing out here for some reason it's just you just got a fish you can't scan and this is a lot bigger school than I thought it was gonna be 115 yep I started off with a chatterbait to find them and I got smoked a whole bunch of times I was like yep found them and then I started with the jig slowed down on that switched to this Northland tackle weedless deadster with uh, the Berkeley little general and so far, I haven't had to switch up since I tied this on, so. So this, I really didn't have a game plan. Uh, my pre-fishing was pretty rough. This is like an old, old spot that I've done tournaments in the past. I didn't even pre-fish it on this spot. I just showed up and said, I'm gonna fish this. <laughs> and they're here, so I mean, they were not much of a size, but their quantity though, it's pretty much how the morning is going. It's, uh, they're biting pretty good on drop shot, net rig. Just kind of switching back and forth between the two. Just little piles of schools coming in and out of these weed lines, but they're not popping out anymore, so. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on. 114. Sounds good. Another decent one. I would be more talkative, but I'm stressed out, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Needed that one. <laughs> Thank you. 
straight head on that one. Oh, it's a good one. Come on. There we go. This is a good one. Ooh, got that one good. Two, three. Nice. Perfect. Nice quality Minnewaska bass. Bunch of them in here. Oh, we just started out down the lake a little bit and we were. I just wasn't feeling it and I knew I had a big school up here, but I didn't know with the storms last night if they were gonna play or not. So we started on a community hole this morning and uh, caught a few, nothing crazy. And we came here and it's been about every cast for the last half hour or so. So we made up a bunch of ground. Hopefully they keep biting. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. One twelve. Another decent one. Keep it going. Will that go a pound? One more. Perfect. You like those? back to the school and they're biting hopefully one calendar or so 111 sounds good nice little guy get him back to where he belongs sign and then we're back at it best part about classic bass in my opinion so get to go right back and not to ride around a live well all day pretty cool deal We get the live guy. One five. One five. Picture's good. One twelve. Good. Okay. Right away this morning, we started off. Pretty good. I mean, we we're catching them like every other cast, you know, sometimes every cast, and it still wasn't keeping up with these guys. I mean, but we started here on this big main lake point. Um, I didn't pre fish it in practice or anything like that, but uh, we pulled up here, you know, thinking there was going to be a big school, and there was, but as soon as that sun kind of came out, started slowing down, and that's kind of what happened for everyone else, it seems like, but uh, you know, now just kind of scrapping for what we can take and yeah that's a better one thank you jesus apart from that school it's just kind of junk fishing i didn't really find any other big group of them but take what we can get Shooter's got like a 30 pound lead, so I don't I don't foresee a win happening, but you never know. I think it was. I think he's at like 70 something. Not a big one, but he's gonna add up. One five. One five. One fiver to the score sheet. He gets to go home and tell his buddies we got we got more to catch. <laughs> Sheet's looking good though. <laughs> it's 27. I'll take it. Yeah, this morning we had I don't know, for, like second fish, get a penalty, third fish, get a penalty, fifth fish, get a penalty. It was, these things are full of energy out here, but fun to fight though. 113. Okay. 
That sounds good. There we go. Yeah, and this is the same exact spot I started on this morning, and you know I missed, missed and lost. I don't even know how many, and um, you know it's the only spot I seem to get bit right now. Um, but yeah. Ooh. Barely hooked, that's why. One eight. Sounds good. Another one. I'm not originally from the area. I went to college here um, last year and graduated. I don't know, it might have been two years ago now. <laughs> but I have fished out here a handful of times, but uh, not enough to say I'm super comfortable with it. But you know, it's it's a grass fishery lake, so it's like I fished a tournament here like four years ago, and the grass has grown out another six foot since I've been here last. So everything's a little bit different, but still fish is the same. I went on boat twenty eight, so I'm like, I'll just see where I can get in. I mean, I I picked the south side because of this spot exactly. I mean, we had Dad and I had a school going here, and right away it's been good and I didn't I didn't think I was gonna get on this I thought I was just gonna go junk fishing this morning but uh, we slid in with a couple other guys and we really haven't moved I think we moved probably about 20 yards but I've just been just hammering away on them slowly but surely I'm I ran out of my pack of worms though so <laughs> we're kind of improvising but it's been it's been a good morning I got Parker here too I mean Quite a lucky marshal, so I'm hoping to keep that luck going. But yeah, I don't know. We're just we're having fun. So seen that one down there. All right, not a bad one. One twelve. Okay, sounds good. There we go. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> we got to count the scorecard. I think I have like at least five or six one threes. It's insane. We'd be sitting there like, oh boy, that one wrecked it. Oh, she's a jumper. Got her. <laughs> that one ate it good. I like it when they don't come off. <laughs> All right, credit. 14. One, one. 13. Okay. <laughs> Ah, it started off super slow, and then we got on a mega school right here. We've, I don't know, caught 25 of them in the last hour, hour and a half. Got a lot of ground to make up. Kyle Shuda really put it to him this morning, but we're working hard and trying to get back up there. We busted them up pretty good in this spot this morning, and uh, it slowed down really bad. So I started running some smallmost stuff that I had, and they just weren't hanging on what they were hanging on. One second here. And I just felt it in my gut that the only way I'm going to win this thing is if I stay out deep and hoping to run into another school of them. Like, you might be able to maintain where you're at, junk fishing, but like I said, I felt in my gut, I just got to stay out here and keep plucking along and hope to run into a school. You could easily get buried, buried in the points do, or doing this, but like, I think it's the only way you can win a boat, so that's what we're going to go for. But uh, I do have a big school on the other side. Whether or not they're gonna be there or not, I have no idea. They're kind of more in the sparse grass, so those fish don't seem to hold as good as this thick stuff. If I don't have that school out there, it's, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm either just gonna junk fish or again, just try and land on another school. It's a risky game plan, but I feel like you need to, you need to go for it. Get off there. 
It's all kinds of bluegills down there. They like pack, 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 and then all of a sudden bass will eat it. It's kind of crazy. Big one. There we go. Perfect. These are pretty rare in this lake. Good? Yep. Fish. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh, you wonder why I'm still wearing my sweet striker bibs? And it's hot. Yeah, yeah, I'm miserable. Just too lazy to take them off. We'll get them off at lunchtime. <laughs> One, eight. Perfect. All right. Let's get another one. Oh, a squeaker. I don't know if they'll go. Be close. Perfect. There we go. We'll take that sucker. Giant. Yep. Oh, jeez. That thing wrecked it. That was a cool strike. Might be a dang big one. He's down in the grass now. Well, we'll bring all of it in then. Don't be a pike. Don't be a pike. It's gotta be a pike. This thing's pulling into the bath with a bunch of grass. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, go team. All right. Two or three. Perfect. What a beauty. All right. Old janitor got her done. And they got real finicky. One nine. Perfect. Good to go. Yep. Good one. Ah, get over here. <laughs> All right. One last little guy before lunch. I get to take the bibs off in a couple minutes. One seven? Yep, that's what I saw. I'll take him. Hey, Scott and Paul here with you. We're here for the Elliott Rods midday update. Scott, we've had a hell of a morning, had some real rough weather last night, a little cloudy this morning, but man, it's got beautiful out. It is. We expected kind of a storm potentially right. over lunch hour. It never happened. It's some stunningly beautiful, crystal clear water. The guys are going to catch them this afternoon. But what a morning we've seen. Unbelievable. Uh, right now, at the half, the guys just left, is Mr. Kyle Shuda. Kyle has 94 pounds and seven ounces. He caught 65 fish this morning. He was putting on a just a clinic this morning. We even had our current record holder, Adam Rasmussen, on social media saying, shut it down, I don't want my record broken. But no, he really, really got on him hard. It's gonna be an interesting afternoon because right, ironically, after 94 pounds, you think it'd be over? No, yep. right behind him, chasing him down right now is Matt Holweg, a Skeeter Pro. Matt's got 85 pounds, and I can tell you this, in talking to Matt, he's found a mega school out there in the second half where he's praying that they're still around. Yep. If those fish are, we could see some big changes still. And honestly, in third is Evan Blakely with 66 and a half pounds. He's got a much bigger gap, but it can be done here. It absolutely can be done. If the guys catch them like they were this morning, a lot can change this afternoon. The bite hopefully will get better. I think some of the better, bigger fish might bite this afternoon or if this heat starts to come back a little bit. 
but the lake has shown uh, what a community, what a fishery. It really has, and then the other thing we got going to, of course, of that race for Angler of the Year. Kyle Shuda was in second going out today, so he's, right now, he, he owns that right now. Dane Voselka, I think, is down about as far as 25th. Yeah. He's got to get back up into the top 10 to hang on to that. I think it's about a nine-point difference. So yeah. that's another thing we're going to watch It's a big today. deal. A lot of things going down. A lot of flip-flopping this afternoon. Guys are still in the race. Yeah. We have a lot of cash and prizes we're going to be giving out. Obviously, the Skeeter uh, ZX200 is mm -hmm. our prize package for the champion. They're going to walk away with about a $60,000 package. But on the flip side, we've got some incredible Minn Kota Hummingbird products, cash and prizes, getting yeah. paid down the 15th place. These guys have earned the opportunity to be here. They're not paid a dime for it, and they're working their butts off to, to show out today. And kudos to them. What a great group of anglers. Yep. And this afternoon, hopefully about 4.30, you can go on to Facebook Live and watch the ceremonies and watch everything yeah. happen at the end. It's going to be great. Yeah. Stay tuned. Real Live Wall app, Champions Tour, Championship Lake Minnewaska. So we just got out here to start the second period, uh, the second half now with the, so we flip flop sides. I started on the south side, now I'm on the north side. And uh, this morning I ended up landing on a patch of them late or a patch of coontail that had them pretty good and we caught 31 bass. But unfortunately the leader has got 90 some pounds and we only got 60, so we're still back a ways, but there's big schools out here in some of these coontail patches and the sun's out now and we're on to this afternoon period. So it's just, I'm going to probe around and the whole goal is probe around until you get bit. When you do, slow down and hopefully there's a wad of them you can catch out of that patch of grass because that's kind of how they set up here. They school up pretty heavy. Looks like a decent one, two pounder anyways. These are the ones we need to catch, just a lot of them. Yeah, that one's gonna help the cause. Well, maybe we found them. We'll see how this goes now, if we can catch them on every cast or not. 114. 114, that's what we need a bunch of. I gotta catch about 40 more of these in a hurry. We'll put them back now that we got them weighed, a picture of them. Not the one I lost. All right, little dock fishing. Get the second half started. First half was an hour and a half before I put a keeper in the boat. Hey, 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 hey. Ready? Yep. One, three. One, three. One pound, one, three. Good one, I think. Oh, it's a real good one. Nice, nice two and a quarter, maybe? Nah, not that. Just a decent one. Two one. Two one. We'll take it. Nice. Two pounder. The Nawaska two pounder. I was lucky enough to uh, get in. Oops get into the uh, Champions Tour and then end up finishing well enough in all the tournaments to win Rookie of the Year. You know, uh, not maybe necessarily a rookie to fishing or tournament fishing, but certainly to uh, an organized tournament bass fishing organization and uh, it was really fun. You know, I love this uh, tournament format of the, the catch way and, and release them right away. Um, it's a lot easier on the fish and a lot more fun and boy to fish against some of the, the really quality anglers in the state of Minnesota and, and surrounding area. You know, it was just a, it was a big surprise and I feel very honored to end up in the, in the Rookie of the Year in 13th place overall and did pretty well this morning so hopefully I can uh, continue showing off some rookie luck. That one ate it. I think he'll go a pound. He's just a little guy. Lovely. Get him. End your two minute penalty. Hopefully he goes a pounder. That was a real waste of time. One. 
<laughs> One pounder, just a little guy. But it counts. We'll let him go. All right, now we're going to start a two minute penalty. It's ah, my grace. Come on. These are the ones that always get me. Two nine. All right. Less talking, more bass snatching. At least I'm getting a few bites. I don't know if I'm going to catch enough to gain enough ground, but. Getting a few bites. That one should be close to two, maybe. Yeah, he's a little skinny. 111. Got it. Whoop. Let's just catch uh, like 40 more of those and we'll be okay. We should go a pound, maybe. It's gonna be close. Nice. One four, we'll take it. Keeps us in the game. Well, I love that bite. I'm gonna drift on top of it. No, we're good. 112. Sweet. Hey everybody, welcome back to Lake Miniwaska. Second half. Uh, things are shaping up. Well, right now we're just sitting off of Matt Holwig here, and Holwig and Shoot are, are kind of in a shootout, and that's it's that simple. They're they're kind of jockeying back and forth, and they are really the two guys that that probably got the legitimate chance to really knock this down. That that third to tenth though, there's somebody going to move in there, and we're just waiting for that move to happen. Right now, it appears it might be Hunter Went. Hunter is coming up the board. He's on a pot of fish, so we'll just. Watch the afternoon and see what happens. Another one that should make the make the cut just barely. One three. Good enough. We started out the second half. Uh, I found a little flip in school during our practice day and uh, we had these big thunderstorms roll in and it's on a shallow flat and we got grass all over it and uh, I was really worried about them not being here and we started off I mean 10 minutes without a bite I got really scared and then it slicked off and the high suns got up and they are chewing now so we're making up some ground hopefully they keep biting and we can uh, maybe sneak up on shoot and get them so we'll just keep pecking away at them and uh, hopefully we can get it done. It's been it's been grind, man. It's been a grind. Uh, it didn't start out quite like the first half, but obviously we got really blessed with that first half. So um, the second half, I started on a deep spot that I had a big school on, and I caught one bass, and it just kind of nothing else was going. And so I went into samples and docks, just trying to keep an open mind. And I don't know what's going on, but we're losing like half the fish that we hook up on. But we have caught. Uh, well, how many fish have we caught so far? Nine nine or ten bass so we've caught nine or ten and lost about at least seven or eight of them and we're just trying to hold on to that lead we're still up there in first but uh it's really tight so oh that's a good one there we go one closer two. all right sweet sounds good two even we'll take them oh about 30 more, 30 more. <laughs> Three, two. We'll take those. It's a good one, little skinny guy, but we'll take them. All right, that's a good fish. That's one we needed. We're gonna keep catching those. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. No! That's not cool. I mean, that's good TV for y'all, but. <laughs> the 
should go a pound. Sweet. We'll take every pound we can get. Let them go. Go catch another one. Hopefully the next one's a little bigger. <laughs> Brown dog yeah. flipped over the deck. Another one really close. <laughs> Sweet. Another little guy. Please be a school. Please. Mm -hmm. Well, we got about a little more than two hours left of the tournament. Oh, and we're catching some, but we are losing the heck out of so many fish. It's insane. 113. 113? like it. And 13, baby. No. Oh. Had a four pound smallmouth come in the boat, hit cartwheel and blow out of the boat. We lost that one. I don't know. It was a hot mess, but we're still catching enough to be up there. So that's the update. We got two more hours left. I'm packing and hunting. I don't want to jinx it, but there might be a school here. I've never fished here before. One six. Hell yeah. Keep them coming. Stressed out. You're gonna choke that time too. Tree three, if I get a little one three. That'll help. It's a good one. Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's the two o'clock update, update. Two hours left of fishing here in the Champions Tour Championship at Lake Minnewaska. In first place, we have Kyle Shuda, 116 pounds and two ounces, 81 fish. In second place, 64 fish, 103 pounds, one ounce, Matt Holwig. In third place, 50 fish, 84 pounds, 11 ounces, Evan Blakely. In fourth place, 45 fish, 84 pounds, nine ounces, Matt Peters. In fifth, 43 fish, 81 pounds, 12 ounces, Hunter Went. In sixth place, 52 fish, 80 pounds, three ounces, Terry Vang. In seventh, 49 fish, 78 pounds, 14 ounces, Walker Krampets. In eighth, 35 fish, 69 pounds, one ounce, Chad Smith. In ninth, 43 fish, 68 pounds, 13 ounces, John Nelson. And in 10th, 42 fish, 68 pounds, 13 ounces, Brad Leitner. <laughs> Better go. <laughs> Got it, picture? Yep, I got it. Hold on. Barely fucked. One seven, chipping away. Well, there's an hour, hour and a half left. The bite is definitely slowed down. We're just plucking one here and there. Um, but it's, it's, it's slow. And then you, what am I, like 20 pounds back? So we either gotta run into a school of them or we're pretty much fishing for second place at this point. Um, but there's always a chance. Just barely hanging on. One six. Yeah, one six. Decent. 
Known's for the EDAC Bass Club. Oh God. It ain't that big, but it'll score. One eight. One eight. Alrighty. Another one. I gotta get like ten more. I think we'll be up there in the top three. Definitely slowing down. High suns. Flat calm now. We had a little wind earlier and they're biting a little better, but I don't know. We just gotta keep grinding one at a time and I think that's gonna be the key to getting up in that top three. That's kind of what I'm shooting for right now anyways, since Shooter's got like, I don't even know, a hundred and some pounds. So, <laughs> But we'll just keep plugging away and hopefully we can get her done. Boom. Getting good at judging dinks. That's all this lake's got. All right. AOI. Well, <laughs> it's pretty tight. You know, there's still a good chance. We got an hour and a half. We just need to find one more good ball of them and jump up there. But I cannot say enough great things about Kyle Shuda. He needed to perform. I mean, even if he wins, I needed a top 10. That puts pressure on both of us. So, just keep your head down and fish fast, but fish slow, you know, just to kind of search a little bit. We both know that this area has been obliterated by anglers. All in all, it's a beautiful day. To be on the water, fishing my last event, fighting for angler of the year. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen, but at least I gave myself a chance. That's really what matters. And again, super happy for Kyle right now, who is just blasting them. How many bags are over 100? We didn't even, two over 100? Yeah, that's, what an awesome championship lake. Wicked cool, wicked cool. Whoa. So little. If these were two pounders, we'd be making some ground. Maybe we'll make a comeback. Oh, hell yeah. Those are gold. Back out deep and bust one. Two, three. There you go. There. Two, three. A little fatty, too. Look at that. That was close. All right, guys, we're in penalty. Let's pull back up on the docks, fish deep a little bit. Probably shouldn't have done that. Caught one, two, two. Pull back up on the docks, caught a couple more bites. So we got an hour to go. Uh, the guy in second place is charging at us. So got to keep the foot on the skinny pedal. Oh, I'll take it. Boom. That is a Minnewaska giant. There's 
so small. Oh, it's too hot. Tell me one. Yeah, you're at 127 still. You're at 116 still. Hunter went. He's on a school. He was just at 90. Now he's at 101. Uh-oh. There it is. Oh, no. Fourteen. Got it. Fourteen. Stay pinned. I need you. Stay pinned. Come here. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> Oh, that's the one we've been waiting for. Wait, another one. Ooh, beauty of a smallie. Mwah, got it. Oh. Hey, if that's the last fish I catch today, I'll be happy. We've had a heck of a day, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, this spot's kind of like that. It's either you don't know if it's gonna be a small mouth or a large mouth. So <laughs> it's kind of a fun little deal. That's the second big one we've caught today like that, so. start getting it. 113. Yep. Agreed. 113. One minute, you got 11 pound lead. Oh my gosh. What are you gonna do with that brand new boat? I don't even know. I can't even freaking think, dude. I'm freaking out right now. I'm freaking out. That's crazy. Is that it? Dude. One. There it is. Yeah! Dude, Thanks. come here. Give me a hug. This is the best thing. Awesome. Let's go, man. Oh, let's go. Biggest trim of your life. Dude, oh my God. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. That's wild. What a grind. Oh my gosh. How many bass did we catch today? A lot. It's hard on it's hard. 94. 94 bass today. Yep, almost 100 bass in one day. It made me work for it every second of the day. Like every second. Holy cow. We did it, man. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh my God. Thank you so much to the Champs Tour. This is the best tour on the planet as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>